Before you begin the installation process, just sweep the floor and use a damp rag to wipe away any dirt and debris. I added some tape around the toilet flange, that way when the concrete is poured, it doesn't obstruct with the flange holes. The self-leveling product I use is made by Tech. It's called Easy Level and the product number is 323. You have to add 5 liters of cold water. Do not use hot water. Make sure it's clean, obviously. And then you just slowly add powder and use, wear a mask. That way you're not inhaling all the fumes. easier if you just add a little bit and mix, add a little bit and mix, rather than trying to mix the whole thing in one shot. With self-leveling concrete, you could probably get away with using a regular drill if you don't own a mixing drill. But if you're mixing mortar or something for tile, it requires a drill that has higher torque. Because if you don't use a drill that has higher torque, there's a good chance that you will burn out the motor. So I'm just going to let this stand for about a minute or two and then give it a final mix and start applying it. When you're doing your final mixing before you're about to start pouring it, make sure you manually scrape all the sides because there will be dried up parts. And it should be the consistency of a runny milkshake. Good to have a trowel just so you could feather out the edges. Once you've mixed this, you have about 10 to 15 minutes to work with it. And this stuff is walkable in four hours. And you have to wait about 14 to 16 hours to install your tile over top of it. Now if you require thicker underlayment, and you, after four hours, you can apply your second coat. And they recommend that if it sits for longer than 12 hours, then you use their primer over top of it before applying the second coat. But I didn't even use a primer on this before installing it, and I've had no issues with adhesion. And I've also dammed the entrance to the bathroom. That way the self-leveler will stop right here. Our first coat of self-leveling is done and dry now. And I've noticed that there's still one spot right here you can see with the level down where it's still we have a little bit of a gap. On this side of the bathroom, everything is fine, but here, there's just a little bit of a contour. So what I've done is just place the four foot level across, and I've just kind of made a little bit of a map by just dragging it across, and then just adjusting wherever the slope is, so that uh, when I pour my final coat of self-leveling, I know exactly where it has to go. Okay, the first thing you have to do is, uh, you gotta run out of... <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. 
Can you turn it off? I was gonna do that. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, and to stay connected, subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram.